All right, folks, please join me as we fit a tow bar, some electrics, and a very annoying buzzer to the land yacht. Operation uh, for fitting our tow bar. Uh, we need to move around some of these cells, uh, some of these extra cells uh, that we'd fitted to the car last year. So, um, plan is we're going to move these four here that I had in this kind of corner space and uh, put them here in the more central space uh, where I took four cells out uh, a few months ago uh, for the Panzer's 12 volt system. So, and just like that. We've got our six cells now in a more centralized place and uh, we can easily get to the bolts um, on each side of the boot area uh, to let us take off the bumper. There's something happening. Oh boy. Oh man, okay, wow, um, I guess that's the bumper. So now all we have to do is to make all this junk fit on the car. Should be easy, right? So with the bumper removed, the rather um, heavily uh, documented instructions here do seem to make some kind of sense. So let's watch and see if I can make that translate, translate, translate to that. Looks like one of these things uh, goes in here. And to my surprise, it does actually match up. Uh, the holes, there's some holes inside. Well, they actually all match up. So that's got to be a winner. So it looks like that goes, uh, yeah, okay, so that goes in there. This guy here then sits inside. I'll show you guys this on the far side. It'll probably make a bit more sense. You don't have these cells in the way. I'm assuming that one wants to be on like that. Okay, so the plate is now on the left side, and I'm going to show you how we fit it to the right side. Okay, so this plate dude goes in here, like so. We got to get some bolts, kitty guy. Let's get you guys in here for a bit of a bit of close-up action. So what we do is we put the bracket long ways like this sits in and the bolt screws in like this and they didn't bother uh, when they were painting them to uh, dress the, the treads. That bolt goes in there and we take another bolt with a spring washer which I don't really like spring washers but now yeah, they came with the kit, so I live with them. And a flat wa washer, and it goes in here. And they do fit the factory mounting points uh, quite cleanly, so I have to give it that. Seventeen mil socket. Go. I managed to do that one upside down again, I think. Okay, that doesn't matter for now, but that's on there. There, the, the, there are our two mounting plates. 
on the bumper. All right, guys, I think that the next thing that we want to do, believe it or not, is to fit the tow bar. Yes, that's what I'm thinking the instructions say, so could I possibly be wrong? Absolutely bong not. Ow. I'm again. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. Do I matter? Time to get a 19 spanner. No, 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 19, 19. The average size of a mounting bolt for a land yacht tow bar, 19. It's actually a 16. So much for that plan. Now, we'll see how I'll be able to get the end of the stud to come out of here. guy comes out kind of mad shock absorber thing and uh, our wonderful replacement which is just a bit of solid metal should pop in there I guess um, just got to make sure I get them the right way around because of course it's too stored here oh, I can get it out that's all right it is a captive in there, so that'll I should be kind of able to get the same thing out. I know oh. ah. I know I have to cut away a part of the bumper to let the tow bar out, but I might be able to just get away without having to strip this down. It'll be a major benefit to me, uh, to be honest. I'll be fiddling with this a bit. Uh, of course, this one, for some reason, has a step back on it here. I don't really understand why that's there. You're not going to believe this, but I just decided to do a quick trial fit, uh, putting the bumper on, and it just fit on perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and run up the nuts on the inside, and uh, yeah, just pretty much, uh, pretty much um, see if this thing's going to pull two together for me. Last piece of the puzzle, the actual swan neck tow bar itself and just got to work out how the electrical connector mounts on here I'm guessing it's something like this um it wouldn't be uh, now i could just cut this off that might be the easy option and just let it in there in fact i'm thinking 
that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to cut this hook off. It's not really serving any real purpose. Let's see if that makes sense now. Yeah, that'll fit now, all right. Okay. Keep in mind that this is a big slug of steel as well. Quite heavy too. Move around. Well, we didn't quite get away without having to modify it. But it's on, guys. It's on. Alright, so rather than screw around with this for the rest of the night trying to get washers, I just got a couple of M12 Nilox and I'm just uh, about finished lifting these guys up. That's it. We got a tow bar, folks.